week 14 of the fantasy football season. And here's a few kickers I look to drop this week. The first guy, Will Lutz of the New Orleans Saints. So Will Lutz, he's been a decent kicker this season. But this same team, they're just getting the job done that much here. Now we're going on bye week here. I would drop Will Lutz. He's definitely a guy you could visit later in the season with some good matchups coming up in the playoff time. Week 15 versus Atlanta. Week 16 at Cleveland. But after that, not much. But anyway, going on bye week here in week 14. The same team has a lot of trouble getting in the red zone and finishing drives. And we even saw it on Monday Night Football here. This same team could have put that ball game away, but obviously couldn't and lose towards the end with three and a half minutes left up. 16 to 3, but Tom Brady comes back and wins it. But anyway, the offense has been a problem all season. I know Lil Lutz has had some good ball games, but he's not a guy I could count on, especially in the playoffs. And also going on by this week, so he's a kicker. I would drop the next guy, Jake Elliott, of the Philadelphia Eagles. So a lot of people still have Jake Elliott rostered on their team here, owned in 37% of fantasy leagues. But he's a guy pretty much, he's getting an extra point. Or nothing. I know he had one blow-up game in Week 12 versus Green Bay, but besides that, five, six fantasy points. He's maxing out at Week 10 versus Washington, three. Week 11 at the Colts, five. Week 12 versus Green Bay, 12. And Week 13 versus Tennessee, five. So this week here, on paper, I know he's got a good matchup at the Giants. They give up the 10th most fantasy points to kick his on the season. But right now, I can't trust Jake Elliott to put up more than five, six fantasy points. And it's not his fault. This Eagle team... High Pat with offense. They find the end zone pretty much four out of five times this season, it seems like, once they're in the red zone here. And he's a kicker not producing at a high level. The final kicker I look to drop this week, Brett Maher of the Dallas Cowboys. So the Dallas Cowboys, another offense of late here, where they're just punching it in the end zone and not settling for field goals. So Maher the last month, the week 10 at Green Bay 4, week 11 in Minnesota 22. Week 12 versus the Giants for, and then week 13 versus Indianapolis. The Dallas Cowboys score 54 points, and he only finishes the day with six fantasy points. So the Cowboys are finding the end zone. Another great matchup this week here versus the Texans, where I think they're going to find the end zone early and often, where maybe Maher will get one or two field goal attempts at best. But right now, he's not putting up the points week in and week out here. And he's definitely a kicker I would drop, even though I know he's a part of a high-powered offense and all. The numbers just haven't been there pretty much the last month, month and a half for Maher, except that one game in Minnesota. So that's a few kickers I've looked to drop here for week 14 of the fantasy football season.